We just got back from uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Washington, D.C., Ohio, and we had some pretty good audiences, but for real, you, act, you guys actually are the best audiences. But here's, here's one thing, though. We had a really hard time trying to convince the audiences to let us play Girls Just Want to Have Fun by Cindy Lauper. Can you believe that? What the hell, man? So I'm gonna I'm gonna have a voice vote, and your choice is "Girls Just Want to Have Fun" by Cindy Lauper. Who wants to hear "Girls Just Want to Have Fun" by Cindy Lauper? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You don't get another choice.
Give him a big round of applause. We got a missing driver's license. If anybody finds a driver's license laying around on the ground somewhere, stuck in a crevice of some kind, there it is, it's over there. Our man found it. How do you like that? was easy. That was easy. And that is our philanthropic act for the year. We love you too. Whose hands smell like crawfish? That's it? <laughs> Mind oh, you. All right. We're going to need your help on this one. This is a sing-along song. I'm sure that you're familiar with it. You've probably heard it. On your record players at home. This one was a, it's an old spiritual song that uh, the Lubin Brothers uh, made famous. And we took it and we rewrote the lyrics and uh, rearranged it a little bit so we uh, wouldn't be in fear of any copyright laws. Copyright laws! This one's called Sinners You Better Get Ready. So please repeat after me. Oh, sinners, you better get ready.
a big round of applause for helping sing that one. That's a tune a little bit. Say, I have an idea. We're called Black Jake and the Carnies for a reason. And it's not because I'm black, it's because we have carnival games. So we're gonna need a volunteer. And this is what you're gonna do. Before you volunteer, I should tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a chance to earn, via your plastic ball aiming abilities, a free EP. It's only a five dollar value, so don't get too excited. We're gonna need, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a volunteer and we're gonna give you three plastic balls. And you're gonna try to get one of those plastic balls into Baba Yaga's mouth. Baba Yaga, that doesn't make any sense, but I've been drinking all day, so okay. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna need a volunteer. Oh, this is a tough one, man. That's a tough one. I'm gonna let Joe, Jumpin' Joe Cooter on the bass this side. Everybody give him a big round of applause. Jumpin' Joe Cooter has spoken. You, sir? No, 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 you go back out that way. What do you think, we're gonna make this easy on you? That's $5 out of our pockets. All right. Drum roll, please. Everybody, this one he's gonna nail. Oh, very close. You forgot to adjust for windage. All right. Our man wins a free EP. Hey, yell your name up so I can tell everybody what your name was. What's your name? Joe. Joel. Everybody give Joel a big round of applause. He won a free EP. If you stick around, you might be able to win a free EP, or possibly not. Head over to our merch table, Joel, and give you a free EP. I don't want to make it look like there aren't any risks involved. Last night in Lexington, I accidentally popped some chick in the mouth with the microphone while she came up to get her balls. So there is a significant amount of risk. That makes it a little bit more exciting, doesn't it? For legal purposes, though, I didn't just say that. All right. This is a song called Old East Cross Street. It's a nice, nice mid-tempo, dancey tune. So you probably like it. This is, uh, you know where East Cross Street is? That's where we all met. That's where we became friends. Where we became, where we became a band. So it has special, special meaning for all of us. You guys are awesome. This one, Billy the King Pen Lalone starts us off. Everybody give him a big round of applause.
fast one, we're going to go for a fast one. That's a good Everybody, too, give it up for Tom. Aaron, Steph, and everybody that's working back on Brewer Road. That's the fastest I've ever got a beer ever in my life. So they're working hard. This one is off our first evening. This one is called Bone Man. You know it, you love it. to win a free EP? Who wants to choose? Who wants to choose? 
Who wants to choose? Skull and Crossbones Girl in the front. Skull and Crossbones Girl in the front, Billy the King Ben Malone says. That's you, Skull and Crossbones Girl in the front. She has a name. What's your name? What's your name? Tell us your name. This is this is Angie, everybody. Angie's gonna have three chances to win a free EP. Give her all your love. The first miss is always delivered. The second miss, less so. Oh, so. Well, don't worry, there are no losers in this game. Except for you, Angie. <laughs> Just kidding. Everybody give Angie a big round of applause. Make her feel good. That's not a very big round of applause. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, a sticker. That's good. You may ask me why I choose to wonder. Why I'm always alone there alone in the streets. What's so funny? Why I never go home, you may wonder. Oh, that's funny. Is there nobody waiting for me? Why I stay here a drink until daybreak? Why I ain't settled down yet with somebody sweet? If I think I'm
I got a story. Listen to this one. Grandpa Moody was a bent old coot. He spent a dark and dreary life mislift. His wife long past and his kin don't ask to see the wretch that kept them unforgive.
fire and spend the best for last to spend. Don't fret no bills, don't fret no gold, don't fret no food or drink or rent. A head full of steam if life is mean and cruel and no how makes no sense. If there ain't no difference, put you down your pit and stand by you a bottle to see you hands. exciting conclusion of the uh, Baba Yaga ball game, we're going to give you a chance to do a real legitimate 80s choice voice vote. Okay, so what you do is you cheer for the song you want us to play, and we're going to play it if it wins. So your first choice is Kiss Me Deadly by Lita Ford. That's your first choice. Pretty popular. Wait till you hear what else is coming. The next one is uh, uh, Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. Oh, so far that's winning. Money for Nothing is winning. Wait till you hear the last one, which... What? <laughs> I wish you had a microphone so the whole audience could have heard that. I won't repeat it though. The other thing I was going to say was uh, that one other song that we do. Oh, Never Tear Us Apart by In Excess. Yes. All right, we'll play that one later on. Oh, she booked us. She booked us, so she gets like ten votes. But All right, we'll, because you booked us, we'll play that later on in the set, regardless of what these yahoos think. All right, this one is called um, uh, The One That Won. Money for Nothing by Dire Straits.
for the exciting conclusion of the Baba Yaga ball game. We're gonna have to have you. You are gonna have a chance. You meant that right, you with your hand up. Come up close, young lady. Where'd she go? Where'd our contestant go? She disappeared. Oh, there she is. We don't actually want you on stage. I mean, we do want you on stage. But everybody, why don't you tell everybody your name? Why don't you quick tell everybody your name? Thank you. Good round of applause. She's probably going to be our last contestant for the night, but you never know. We might change our mind. Are three balls enough for her, do you think? Do you think we should give her more than three balls? In that case, we're going to need another volunteer. Shauna, why don't you come up on stage? All right, why don't you tell everybody your name? I'm Shauna. Shauna, have I ever met you before? No. All right, Shauna is a completely impassive observer. And Shauna's job, because we're going to give you a lot more balls than just three balls, because we think you deserve more than just three amazing chances to win. So Shauna's job is to throw the ones you missed back out into the audience. You might have a chance to get them again. All right? So Shauna is going to hang out by Baba Yaga, okay? And you're going to go back down to the audience, and we're going to give you a bunch more balls. Okay, where is she? There she is. So, we're going to give you a good long while to make this happen. So we're going to play a, a little ditty. Some of those colorful balls can't throw balls. Yeah, I agree. We're going to play this little ditty called All the Difference while you chuck balls at us and, uh, and we chuck balls back at you. That seems fair, doesn't it? All right, Mark. Mark, why don't you give the contestants contestants... A chance at, uh, at, at a few more balls there. <laughs> there we go. Why don't we do another bag of balls?
six years ago. Y'all better stay to help us pick them up because y'all made a mess. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all. Enough, man. Sorry. We're up north again. We can see you guys. We you guys, asshole. <laughs> All right. So, did our contestant get a ball into the Baba Yaga mouth? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty close. 27. I don't know. It looks pretty close. 27. I think she deserves one free EP, don't you? Give our contestants a big round of applause. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Stop throwing them at my face. Too bad about that shit. That kind of hurts now. It didn't use to hurt. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, here's a good one. So, because she got more than one ball in, we're going to also do her uh, 80s request. You don't have to clean them up right now. Really okay. We just did money for nothing, man. Where have you been? I know you were, you were actually helping me sing, and we you forgot that we did that one. All right. This one... This one is called Never Tear Us Apart by NXS. It's very moving, so uh, please be completely serious the entire time. That was sort of a joke. It is very moving, though. It's a very passionate song. We all feel strongly about it. Find a partner.
awkward there for a second. <laughs> Misfits playing in between the sets, so we're gonna play a little bit of Misfits uh, a little bit later. But in the meantime, in the, we actually played Skulls only once. We haven't practiced it enough to play Skulls. We'll, we'll have to learn that one. But for now, we're not gonna play Misfits songs, so stick around for that one. Have a few more beers. Uh, but this one, uh, why don't I just take the time to tune out a little bit? Okay, to reiterate, we're Black Jake and the Carnage from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Thank you very much. And why don't I introduce the band while I'm up here? Have I done that yet? This is J.C. Miller on the accordion, everybody. Give him a big round of applause. We met him because we played his wedding, and we he learned the accordion to play with us, and then we said, hey, would you like to be in a band? And he said, yes, I would like to be in a band. And so he's in a band. This is Jumpin' Joe Cooter on the bass. We never met him or asked him to be in the band. He just showed up. This is Billy the Kingpin Lalone down the drums. Everybody give him a good one. This is Gus Wallace on the fiddle, everybody. My oldest friend. I've known him since we were 13 years old. And now we're both 23. 10 long years. 36-ish. This is Andy Bennis the Menace, our newest player. Give him a big round of applause. He's uh, We poached him from band Back 40. You probably heard of him. Nobody heard of Back 40? Ah, sorry, rookie. Nobody knows you. Obviously, it was a good move. <laughs> All right, and I am Black Jake, and I have been a member of this band since I first thought of the idea. Longer than anybody. That's why I'm the boss. So give me a big round of applause. Come on. You can do better for me than that. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to sing this one. This one is called Cigarettes and Whiskey and Wild Wild Women. And it's off our new EP. It's an old song we redid. <laughs> what did I do to deserve that? <laughs> All right, so here's how that one goes. It goes, Cigarettes and Whiskey and Wild Wild Women, they'll drive you crazy. They'll drive you insane. All right? It's a nice waltz, and this time we're not actually going to speed it up so you can find a dance partner and dance the entire time. It's on the EP. Oh, no, 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 no. Fun's over, man. Fun's over. Go a bit serious. Oh, it's a duel? All right. Wait a minute. We'll do that later. I'm going to do the song first before I lose all the fans' momentum and all that stuff. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three.
Somebody engage the carnies in conversation while I play this one alone. This one is called Ain't No Grave. And uh, I'm not doing the Johnny Cash version, I'm doing the older version, which is done by, uh, this is done by Brother Claude Eli. Johnny Cash got his version from Brother Claude Eli. But yeah, why don't you get down in the audience, mingle for a while, get a few drinks. I like to give the carnies a break because they got a union and uh, I really can't afford a strike at this point. Yeah, why don't you stay up and give me some harmony, Jesse. The... Oh, and Andy, I suppose, has to stay up too, doesn't he? You got a Mando solo, dude. Freebird. <laughs> no, 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 we're not going to do Freebird. All right. <laughs> There ain't no Yes. Dark Horse Brewery, Mark says thank you, especially to all the pretty girls. <laughs> all right. Ten minutes. Really? Ten minutes. All right. We got a few more left for you. Three more left. We're going to fit three into ten minutes because we're black dick and Yeah, damn it. All right, this one is called Horror Business.
last call, everybody. Last call for alcohol. Boo. Boo. Last call is a big boo. Last call. No last call? Well, I think all you guys need another beer, so go up there and get one. Oh, you get a beer? Take all your waitresses. Oh, no. Oh, we got a teetotaling crowd, huh? Oh, you like tea, eh? All right. This? <laughs> oh, you yeah, a bunch of wise guys. We, uh... We were told we only had ten minutes left, but now I'm getting some mixed signals. So... I have various, in, you know, complicated man. I agree. All right, this one is off our new EP. This is the last song on our new EP. It's called "The Good Man Knows." It's for sale for five dollars over here to our right. Oh yeah, five dollars to our right. The EP is for sale. <laughs> this is a nice long jammy one, so you can go get a beer and come back. We'll probably still be playing. Let's make it really, really long this time. Let's just pretend we're the that other band that we sometimes make fun of. <laughs>
our tour playing for you guys, I'll tell you what. We've had some enthusiastic audiences, but you guys really are the most enthusiastic audience. We really do appreciate it. And I'm not just blowing smoke up your asses. What's that? Oh, are you blowing smoke up your ass? Well, luckily ours does. We're an LLC. Well, we're not really an LLC. All right. Are there any members of the previous band still in the audience right now? Why don't you come up on stage and join us for this final number, won't you? And are there any audience members that are trustworthy enough to not pull out all sorts of cables and trip on stuff? <laughs> break their teeth and stuff like that? You're not that guy. You stay down there. We need you right there, man. We need you right there. All right. So this is a nice, this is like the epic, epic sing-along. And here's how it goes, I'm gonna teach it to you. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot.
Happy birthday, Cindy. Happy birthday.